ask for better rides on either one. And my boy Bobby um, stuck in there and tried as hard or harder than I ever thought he would. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know how many time faults I had, I don't think very many. Um, but uh, I'm really proud of him. Reggie, the first one, Ballino Castle, um, went around easily. Um, you know, I had a dog chase me, and so that was a bit unfortunate. Um, but he went beautifully. It was right before the sunken road, and, you know, just as I was making my turn. Um, you know, and um, just one of those unfortunate things. It, it, you know, he, it, my feeling was he switched off. Um, and, uh, you know, he's not a horse that goes up to anything and stops. And so, uh, but look, I'm proud of him. He was great. And, um, you know, what are you going to do? strong and quite difficult to manage at the start of the course. I came round the corner and saw this not ideal sort of distance, nice open distance to the logs. And I had actually planned to go on six strides and then it turned into four. <laughs> so Brit took control um, and I, as I jumped in I sort of had a look to the, to the right to see where the corner was. I thought, gee, no, no point in risking that. So I just burned around and kept going. And to be honest, from there on, I never took the pull. And she just motored. And I had a fantastic ride over the sort of second half of the course. Uh, it's just easier riding into the bigger fences. And I don't think I've ever been so fast. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I never really pushed harder than what I did. I went as fast as I felt was good for him. Um, and for his age. He was very much on my side and it, it felt in a way like an old married couple who sort of knew exactly what to do uh, in our own time and I'm very, very proud of him.